Hey guys, we're going to be going over how to edit your picket and basically just change up a few things or maybe just add whole new items that you there isn't up there. So we're going to start off with talking about three, three things and that would be comparison symbols, property keywords, and stat keywords. Now let's start off with stat keywords. What are stat keywords? Stat keywords are basically what is the bulk on your item. So enhanced defense, um, plus two to skills, or um, cold resist, to level 12 warden or something, whatever you have on there. It's basically your stats. Basically you want to go into your scripts, libs, common folder. You want to go to item alias. And basically, you'll find all these stat keywords that you're going to be using. That are sometimes really freaking confusing. You can never find it. But let's just do a little example. Enhanced defense. Enhanced defense. A stat. Alias stat. So now that you know where to get your stat keywords, um, we're going to go move on to comparison symbols and what they mean and when to use them and when's not right to use them, you know. We're going to item configs and we're going to go extreme. You can go to any filter you want. And we're going to add our units. Ah, sorry. Now, what I can pick out right now Comparison symbols are, I'll just, this, 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 alright, those are what you call comparison symbols. Basically what they do is they are used to describe and combine various property keywords and stat keywords together to depict the items that you want to be grabbed by your bot. That's basically what they mean. Okay? Now, before you use anything, let's, let's basically explain what they mean. Now, when, when you use a uh, hashtag sign, basically the hashtag signs, it is John's. <laughs> it is to declare any stats on your item. So again, we know. Remember when we went to item alias? We'd be using these words before all those um, hashtags, and then we would be defining what the stat you want, what what stat number you want it to be. Now equals equals sign means that I want to keep 140 and nothing else. Okay. Now, if you add a greater sign to it, you will be making it, meaning I will grab anything 140 and higher. And obviously, the less than I want, 140 and anything lower, you know? So we grab an average Shaco, and that's not good. I just want perfect. So I just leave it down there. Now, let's say I don't want to add any, any of them, any Shaco. Or, I mean, I don't want to add any stats. What this is basically going to be grabbing is an unidentified Shaco. So it's not going to identify it. It's just going to say, it's a Shaco. Quality's unique. That's good enough for me. All right, so it doesn't have a reason to identify it. So let's just put it back. And let's move on. So let's see what else we got. <sighs> Oof. I'm tired. So let's explain what what you what this means. Um, what else can we explain? When you use a and and sign, it is basically to combine property keywords and stack key keywords together in order to find items within the within the picket itself. So. 
So what we're doing is what we're doing is basically combining this right here, and that would be a property keyword name and quality. So we're combining two property keywords together. So that's why we're com we put the AA on. Okay? Now, this unique can be anything. Like it can be magic or superior. Or anything. I think one's to white too. I'm not sure. But I'm going to keep it unique. And number sign, like I said, um, before any. <laughs> this is defense. Defense. <laughs> before any stat keyword, you want to be using a hashtag sign. Now, let's make it our own, shall we? I think I've covered it a lot. Now, if you want a certain level between it, you want to be using a level. So again, we'd be putting up and and because we're using a property keyword, we'd put level. I want I want the level to be on the item twenty. Okay, so basically I defined I want a demon head. <sighs> oh, that was that's unique, and I want the level to be twenty. Okay, that's what I want. But I don't think that's it. So I want a unit demon head. So, now that we have that done, let's just look at what I've um, made so far. Now, I've, I've declared that I want life leech to be greater than 10. And I want enhanced defense to be 136 or greater. Now let's let's just make our own little keywords here. Let's let's get a what should we pick up? What should we pick up? Okay, Immortal King. So we wouldn't we wouldn't stay in this unique place. We would go and go to our set. Oh my god. Oh. So I would go to Immortal King. <clears throat> And I will explain what to type. We don't need that. We don't need that. So we use name. And since the Moral King's will is a Avenger Guard, so we'll be picking an Avenger Guard. Avenger Guard. And since we're putting up a property keyword, we're going to be putting quality. We're going to use that and and sign since we're combining two property keywords. And... We're going to name it set. Let's add a stat to it. I want I want a defense I want a defense of 125 or higher. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to have a cool one. And let's say I want ethereal. Oh, or you know what? Let's say I don't want ethereal. Okay? So let's say I don't want ethereal, so I'll just use number sign equals or exclamation point so if you put a exclamation point behind the equal sign it means you don't want it I don't know if I explained it I forget sometimes so let's say we don't want ethereal on it I don't think there I don't know maybe someone can put on the post if anyone's ever picked up an ethereal from IK how IK will so basically what we just we just edited our own little picket to show what we want now let's do another um, another picture or another another um, thing we want. So this one's this one's gonna be a uh, we're gonna be adding a unique to it. That because of Tyrese, I'm not gonna look if we have one. But I think we do. Oh, it's right there. But we're gonna still make it just in case you guys are cheating. We're going to use name, and again, the Cerberus Bite is a blood spirit, so we're going to put blood spirit, and we're adding a property keyword, 
and that would be quality. Define what quality we want, and I'm pretty sure it's a unique. So we're only going to be picking a unique. And let's see what we want. Um, as you can see, we don't really need a lot. We don't need to go to the alias, but let's just go with the alias anyway. So we're going to be adding a stat on it. So we're going to put a number sign. We're going to be putting. A, we're going to be separating um, the stat from the property keyword, the stat keyword for property keyword. So we're going to use a number sign to to do that. So so we're going to use a number sign to separate them. Now, since we're separating it, <laughs> okay, so we're going to put life leech. Now we're just going to look on here and see what we got here. Life leech. As you see, we just found it right here. And I'm just going to copy and paste it, you know? Exact keyword. I guess they're not, um, I guess they're not case sensitive because it's allowing me to put life leash and these ones have capitals, so guys, you can just put, I guess, whatever you want. Um, since we're adding another stat keyword, we're going to use the and symbol, okay? Because we're combining another of the same kind, okay? So whenever you break off with the property keywords, um, you're going to be you putting the number sign. That's when you, so we can put um, and and um, level to be equal to 25, and then we would break it off and because we're going stack keywords. And since we're adding another stack keyword, we put and and, and then we'd put um, enhanced defense. I want it to be 136, 136, 136 or higher, and that would be my blood spirit. So basically, I've gave you the whole shaboodle on how to make your own picket. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I hope it's really thorough on what means what and how you can do it. So again, this was really a general, um, thorough thing about the commands that are in here and what they all mean. So I hope you enjoyed it, and happy botting.